I'm looking for a murderer. The suspect who police have in custody at this hour, they tell me, is an ex-convict who was on parole and that these two stabbings appear to be completely random and not connected. According to detectives, a 30-year-old student from Brooklyn was ambushed and suffered a single mortar stab wound to the stomach. But the attacks didn't stop there. About 10 minutes later, the suspect allegedly walking to 110th Street and Cathedral Parkway inside Morningside Park and attacked a 27-year-old Italian tourist. That man was also stabbed in the stomach but taken to the hospital where he is now in stable condition. And so far, no word on what motivated the attacks. Do you believe that all white people have taken part in racial violence, which is what you wrote. I understand that. But that are you thing. saying all white people are guilty of that? I'm not saying all white people are guilty of it, but all white people benefit from racism with white privilege. If you are not actually dismantling racism, if you are not going to pull people up from the bottom of the pyramid to the top, mm. then you are participating sure. and benefiting from racism. But you didn't write that. What you wrote was... I, don't I have did the write that, I, but it was sorry, taken first... out of context. This is, I mean, this, these are the sentences that you wrote. I don't have the energy to talk about racial violence mm -hmm. of white people it anymore. Was yes, all white people. Yes. Could you have worded it better? Um, to be honest, um, speaking about racism as a person of colour, it is a very passionate thing and it's a very emotional thing. And I'm not going to censor myself for my feelings. So, and these are my feelings. I wouldn't, it was sorry, taken first, out of context. And these are my feelings. I wouldn't, no one would want you to censor yourself. It, it's, it's, it's the specificity, it's the accuracy. I think isn't this it? is the problem is that white people are thinking about how it makes them feel when, when racism doesn't affect them, it affects people of colour and deeply shocking as it took place only steps from our campus. It also happened right by the same park. 18-year-old Barnard College freshman Tessa Majors was killed two years ago. A known gang member who was 14 at the time was arrested and sentenced to nine years to life in jail. Police sources say the man who killed Geary is 25-year-old Vincent Pinckney, who lives in Washington Heights. He is a known gang member based in Queens and out on parole for gang assaults with 16 prior arrests. Horrific in one split second. This is crazy. This is um, unbelievable. You see this person in the headscarf appear to wait until the train is just about to pull into the 42nd Street subway station and then the aggressive shove from behind enough to send the victim head on into the oncoming train. As you can see there is no violent altercation in the moments before just a surprise savage ambush from the victim's blind spot. A 92 year old woman pushed to the ground and hitting her head on a fire hydrant. It happened in the Gramercy Park neighborhood of Manhattan. New York cops recognizing the man in the video, and he's now in custody. And he has a rap sheet as long as a football field. I would assume reporter Lucy Yang with a story. She's live in Gramercy Park. We're told 31-year-old Rashid Brimich from the Bronx has been arrested more than 100 times. Andrews step in to help after a mother and her 5-year-old are attacked on a sidewalk on the Upper East Side. 50, police say 52-year-old Terrence Saxton punched a 35-year-old woman in the face before striking her child. Happened yesterday morning on 86th and Lexington Avenue. Witnesses saw the suspect trying to walk away, but stopped him from going into a nearby subway station. Not all white people, not all white people. And this is white people as well as black people that love to say this. And I'm just here to let you know, public service announcement, yes, all white people. All white people are racist. And the reason why all white people are racist is because all white people are born into and raised in a racist white supremacist society that instills racist white supremacist ideals within them. They cannot be your friends. They cannot be your allies. They cannot hang out with you. They cannot date you. I would say that that should be the litmus test for every person Every non-essential white person in your life, aka people that you don't have to be around, like if you have to be around your boss and your coworker, clearly you can't just say, oh, bitch, you're a racist because you're going to get fired. But for any non-essential white people in your life, I think that the criteria for being around them should be, hey, can you admit that our society is racist and that you have racist beliefs that you're working to unlearn? If they can't do that, they got to get the fuck out. They got to go. Because yes, all white people. Racism is white people's problem. It is their sickness, mental illness, disease, whatever you want to call it. It is their culture. It is passed down. It is perpetrated and it is self fulfilling by them the day that white people decide they want racism to be over racism will be over
okay? Justin, here's what she says. Uh, the premise is just white people being miserable and that it must be so boring to be white. She also tweeted, uh, can't, hashtag cancel white people, and oh man, it's kind of sick how much uh, joy I get out of being cruel to old white men, and white people have stopped breeding. You'll all go extinct soon. That was my plan all along. Uh, dumb effing white people marking up the internet with their opinions like dogs. I hate saying that word. I'll just say peeing on fire hydrants. Um, I don't know why that, I just, I hate that word. Uh, you say these tweets are not racist. No, I don't think um, Sarah's tweets are racist. Look, first of all, I think that it's important to note that these tweets were dug up by a right wing. I'm not even, it's not even conservative. It was a right, right wingers, people that identify with the white supremacist ideology, and they were taken out of context. Now, that being said, I subscribe to the notion that I don't tweet, write, or email anything that I don't want splashed across the pages of the New Does York Times. Does it matter who dug them up? But it's not racist for this reason. Um, one, uh, Don, race, racism, being racist, is not just prejudice, it's prejudice plus power. So one could argue that some of her tweets, even within context, um, it say, note that she has a prejudice perhaps against um, white men. But that, in fact, does not make her racist. Does it make her a bigot? Um, does it make her... No, I don't, I don't think it makes her a, a bigot either. It, could she be prejudiced? Could she have some, not just implicit, but you know, negative bias towards uh, white men in America due to perhaps what she's experienced throughout her life. P probably, absolutely. Does that mean, though, that she is, in fact, racist? No, because race is prejudice plus power. Doesn't make any sense, does it? A woman shoved down a flight of stairs in the subway, allegedly by the same man who slugged another strap hanger in that same station just six months before. Well, the suspect in those attacks is a familiar face to police. They say he has more than six dozen prior arrests. Police say 65-year-old John Chapel is a poster child for the city's broken legal system. He's accused of kicking a 65-year-old woman down the stairs at the Herald Square subway Friday. The same subway where they say he repeatedly punched a 68-year-old woman in the face back in December. Both random attacks, both times Chapel was arrested and released. The homeless man arrested Monday for this random slugging of an Asian woman also arrested multiple times last year and released. What's the common denominator, Pat? <laughs> No word on what motivated the attacks. All white people benefit from racism. Racism doesn't affect them, it affects people of colour. This is crazy, this is um, unbelievable. You see this? Yes, all white people. All white people benefit from racism. All white people are racist. Dumb effing white people marking up the internet with their opinions like dogs. They cannot be your friends, they cannot be your allies, they cannot hang out with you, they cannot date you. Hashtag cancel white people. You'll all go extinct soon. That was my plan all along. You say these tweets are not racist. Racism doesn't affect them. It affects people of color. 
This is crazy. This is um, unbelievable. You see this? Yes, all white people. All white people benefit from racism. All white people are racist. And dumb effing white people marking up the internet with their opinions like dogs. It looks like Dementor has beaten Turbo Man. Oh no, Gail, this could be the end of civilization as we know it.